so the heritage competition is very special to me it's very personal and the reason that i created this competition this year has quite the backstory i grew up the child of cuban immigrants who came to this country legally so so many years ago fleeing communism uh, my mom didn't realize it at the time but she was pregnant with me so i was conceived in cuba and born in the united states being the child of Cuban immigrants in the United States during the 70s was actually quite difficult because my parents didn't speak the language, our culture was completely different, we ate different things than people ate, we listened to different music people listened to, and it was hard growing up. The reason that this is so special to me is most of you know my father died when I was young. I I think I was about 20. I don't know. It's all a blur because it was such a traumatic, traumatic period of life for me. I was a diehard daddy's girl. And growing up and understanding that we as a family were all different, I saw my dad get mocked because he couldn't speak the language. I saw him try really, really hard to assimilate into the United States. And to me, I, as a child, I saw that and I wanted to run away from that. And I said, you know, I want to fit in. I don't want people to know we're different. I don't want to be pointed out as different. So I ran from my culture for so long, um, trying to pretend like that was not a part of who I was. Um, it was well into my adulthood before I fully understood the importance of embracing your roots and embracing where you're from and celebrating that. So the cultural heritage competition is twofold. It's an opportunity for girls to celebrate while they're young, their heritage and their roots, and to really embrace it and be proud of that and not try to hide it from the world and just be so proud of where they come from. But also it's a way to give tribute to my dad because the reason why the heritage scholarship is here and it's named after him. It's the Barrero Cultural Heritage Scholarship. And I just hope you make me proud.